In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on June 6, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Oakland Athletics vs. Atlanta Braves The Atlanta Braves will look to pick up their sixth straight victory when they open a two-game series against the Oakland Athletics on Tuesday night at Truist Park. Oakland is having a tough season at 20-36 after suffering a three-game sweep at the hands of the Boston Red Sox. Capped by a 5-2 loss on Sunday as a minus-109 favorite, Atlanta is coming off a four-game sweep of the Colorado Rockies, including an 8-7 victory on Sunday to hit at minus-145 odds, and is now 28-27 overall on the year. These teams last met in late June of 2017, with the Braves rolling to a three-game sweep on the road. Atlanta has dominated the all-time series 15-4. The Braves may not be able to continue hitting in Coors Field like they were over the weekend, but they should still produce as if they are. That may be surprising to hear with Cole Irvin on the mound for the A's. However, Atlanta has the third best team OPS against lefties this season and have been smashing the ball in general recently. That's quite the opposite than an Oakland lineup who likely would have struggled to score a run even in Coors Field. The A's scored just four total runs in their series with the Red Sox over the weekend and are rivaling the Tigers for the worst offensive team in nearly every statistical category. Now facing Atlanta's Kyle Wright and his 2.41 ERA, things are not going to get much easier for Oakland. He's coming off of a dominating scoreless, three-hit start and is looking for his sixth win of the season. It also won't help the A's lineup that the Braves' bullpen has been steadily improving and are nearly within the top five in terms of ERA. Meanwhile, Matt Olson and Austin Riley have been leading the way with plenty of run production for their starters and relievers alike. Olson is now leading the league in doubles, even ahead of former Brave Freddie Freeman. Riley seems to be hitting a home run every other night, and Dansby Swanson is just behind them in RBI. All of that without mentioning the generational talent that is Ronald Acuna Jr. with their lineup healthy and intact. It is simply too wide of a talent gap for Irvin to overcome. He is certainly the A's best chance, but the Braves are hitting lefties too well this season and in general, so the Atlanta Braves to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Irvin is having a good season with an 81 ER a minus, as his low walk rate and ability to limit homers means he can limit major damage while the Oakland bullpen at least has a couple exciting young arms like Danny Jimenez and A.J. Puck. Atlanta's recent numbers at the plate are inflated by playing in Coors Field over the weekend, and there's still some holes at the bottom of the order that makes it difficult to sustain rallies. Atlanta's bullpen leads baseball in WR while ranking 6th in ERA so things won't get any easier for Oakland's struggling lineup in the late innings. Expecting much from this Oakland offense seems to be an issue as they are not hitting. They have a .210 batting average and will not produce many bass runners to even drive in. Cole Irvin is their best starting pitcher and should be able to make this semi-competitive. Looking at the pitching staffs this month so far, the Braves are pitching to a 2.63 team ERA while the Athletics are throwing to an abysmal 5.5 ER as a team. The under is 3-0-2 to to in their last five games against one another. With both starters pitching so well this year, expect a low-scoring game here. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. New York Yankees vs. Minnesota Twins A pair of division leaders from the American League take to the diamond to open up a series in the Twin Cities. The New York Yankees are on the road as they open up a three-game series with the Minnesota Twins Tuesday night. New York swept Detroit over the weekend as they prevailed 5-4 at home in 10 innings in the series finale Sunday afternoon. Minnesota won the rubber game of their three-game series with Toronto on the road winning 8-6 in the finale Sunday afternoon. Last season, the Yankees won the season series by a 6-1 margin, including a 6-5 win at home in the most recent matchup on September 13, 2021. This should be a really fun series as two division leaders look to flex their muscles. The starting pitcher for the Minnesota Twins and currently up in the air, 
as it sounded like they were going between Cole Sands and Bailey Ober. As it stands now, Sands is getting the nod and he is coming off of an outing where he allowed four runs over four innings pitched against Detroit. For the Yankees, Talon has been very good this season and has only allowed two runs in his last 23 innings of work. Look for Talon to continue his brilliant start by stifling Buxton and the rest of Minnesota's lineup. On the other side, look for the Majors' top home run hitting team to add to their collection. Keep your eye on Judge, Stanton, or Rizzo in this one. The Yankees are 6-0 in their last 6 and 16-8 on the road this season. The Twins, meanwhile, have stumbled this past week going just 2-4 against the Tigers and Blue Jays. Ultimately, the Yankees have just been too much of a juggernaut over the past several weeks to warrant fading them especially with the Twins starting pitching uncertainty. The Yankees are one of the best teams in all of baseball, and I like their chances against whomever Minnesota starts. So the New York Yankees' money line is our full-game side pick. New York entered Tuesday's game with the under posting a 30-24 mark in their contests this season. The Yankees are sixth in runs per game this season with 4.78 per contest, though that number slips slightly to an average of 4.71 runs per game at home. New York's average total this season has been 7.67 runs per game, and their road total average comes in at a slightly lower 7.59 runs per contest. Minnesota went into Tuesday having seen the undergo 26-26-4 in their first 56 games. The Twins are 14th in runs per game with 4.36 runs per contest, and they average 4 runs per game as the home team. That makes the average total for Minnesota games at 8.24 runs, with the home number dropping to 7.61 runs a night. Both of these teams rank among the best in the business with the Yankees number one in the league in ER and the Twins coming in at eighth. The lack of clarity on the mound for Minnesota is what makes the run total about tricky to suss out. The Yankees have elite power and can hang a big number in a hurry, however. They are average below two runs a game in their last three road contests. Look for the Twins' patchwork pitching to keep the New York bats at bay enough to hold the total runs down. On the other side, Talon is off to a career season and is showing no signs of slowing down with an elite 2.3 ERA. With Talon pitching well and the Twins pitching in a state of flux, look for this game to end up falling short of the number. Expect to see some runs today, just not a ton of them. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Philadelphia Phillies vs. Milwaukee Brewers The Brewers host the Phillies on Tuesday night to begin a three-game series. Philadelphia has been undergoing some turmoil and fired manager Joe Girardi last Friday, but the team hasn't lost since as they swept the Angels in a three-game series over the weekend under new interim skipper Rob Thompson. The Brewers are riding high in spite of dropping three of four to San Diego in their last series carrying a 33-23 record that is good for first place in the National League Central. The Phillies are 4-0 in their last four overall and 6-18 in their last 24 Tuesday games. Philadelphia is 4-10 in their last 14 versus a right-handed starter. Meanwhile, the Brewers are 6-1 in their last seven in game one of a series and 5-2 in their last seven versus the National League East. Milwaukee is 1-4 in their last five at home. The Phillies were able to take advantage of a reeling Angels team over the weekend, but they're running into a better bunch in Milwaukee and playing on the road as well. Due to Alexander's inexperience, the books have this one as a pick'em, and for my money, I'm picking the overall better team. Alexander looked great in his first trip through the rotation, but should he falter, Milwaukee's loaded bullpen is nice and rested after an off day and will be able to keep Milwaukee in the game. Suarez has struggled and been unable to find his form from 2021 and represents a nice matchup for Luis Urias, McCutcheon, and lefty killer Tyrone Taylor. Alexander will be facing some more potent bats than he did in his MLB debut. But outside of Harper, they have also been plenty inconsistent and also sit in the top 10 in strikeout rate to give Alexander a little boost. Alexander just has the one start to his credit, but the return in that one was very good with seven innings and two earned. As for Suarez, he's been a little choppy lately with 10 earned over his last 11.1 innings and three starts. Milwaukee should have a reasonable shot if Alexander can post a solid start. So the Milwaukee Brewers' money line is our full game side pick. The Phillies' offense is fine. They have scored 32 runs in their last four games entering Monday, and the Brewers are going with rookie Jason Alexander, who is making just his second career big league start. In addition, the Brew crew have averaged a decent four runs in their last 10 games. Suarez hasn't been able to register five innings in a start in three straight outings, and the Phillies' bullpen is unreliable. The over is also 7-3 in the Brewers' last 10 games overall. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze.
subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.